For more on the future of AI and advertising, let's bring in Perplexity CEO and co-founder Aravind Srinivas. Perplexity is an AI answer engine backed by Jeff Bezos and NVIDIA, just to name a few. You started Perplexity with the ambitious mission of taking on Google using AI. Did you know when you were interning at Google that you would, just a few years later, start a multi-billion dollar startup going against it? There's a lot of things. I would say that DeepMind was almost like a different company. Uh, I, I even remember AI will just be a scientist by itself and it'll solve all theorems and proofs and like they, they were on a completely different trajectory. Perplexity AI now delivers answers faster and cleaner than Google. No ads, no clickbait, no SEO traps. We have like about 10 million monthly active users at this point. It's basically grown 1000x over a period of one year. But how did a tiny startup manage to challenge a trillion dollar giant? Why are users ditching Google for something so new? And what does Perplexity know that Google doesn't? For over two decades, Google was the gateway to the internet. But somewhere along the way, that gateway got noisy, cluttered with sponsored links, outdated blogs, and pages optimized more for algorithms than real people. Users started asking, why is it so hard to get a straight answer? Enter Perplexity AI, a search engine so simple, it feels like chatting with an expert. Just one box, one question, one clean sighted answer, no distractions. But how did this happen? Who built it? And why are investors like Jeff Bezos betting big on a tool that might completely rewrite the rules of the internet? Stay with us as we dive into Inside Perplexity, the company that rebuilt Google. Search engines were supposed to simplify the internet, but today, they often do the opposite. Have you ever Googled a simple question and ended up swimming through ads, SEO bait, and outdated blog posts just to find a straight answer? You're not alone. Over the years, Google shifted from a helpful tool into a profit machine. Sponsored results now flood the top of nearly every query. Authentic information gets buried beneath keyword-stuffed content and affiliate links. Creators build content to game the system, not to serve the reader. In 2024, Google's rollout of AI summaries made things even messier. Critics slammed the company for pulling content from creators without permission while offering no traffic in return. People began to wonder, why do I need five clicks to get one fact? Why does every question come with an ad campaign? And why does search feel like it's working against me? Those frustrations weren't random. They were a warning sign and the perfect opening for something better. In a quiet corner of San Francisco, one man had seen enough. Aravind Srinivas, a former researcher at OpenAI, watched the internet's most important tool become bloated, manipulated, and disconnected from its users. He believed search could be rebuilt, smarter, simpler, and fully transparent. His mission, replace ad-driven pages with a direct conversation powered by AI and real-time data. In late 2022, Srinivas teamed up with engineers from DeepMind, Meta, and Quora to launch Perplexity AI. The vision was bold. No more walls of blue links. Ask a question, get a clear answer and see where it came from. Perplexity's interface was minimalist. No clutter, no SEO tricks, no homepage drama, just intelligence on demand. Supported by credible sources in real time, it combined the depth of Google with the flow of ChatGPT and the reliability of Wikipedia. And it worked. Users were stunned. Tech creators on YouTube began calling it the search engine we've been waiting for. Developers loved its simplicity, and even inside Silicon Valley, whispers started. Is this the first real threat to Google in 20 years? But Srinivas wasn't chasing headlines. He was chasing a future where search meant clarity, not confusion. And with perplexity, that future had just gone live. Perplexity doesn't look like a search engine. It feels like a conversation. You don't scroll through endless links. You ask a question, and Perplexity answers instantly with sources attached. Clean, 
clear. Human-like behind the scenes, it's powered by a blend of AI models like OpenAI's GPT-4, Mistral, and Meta's Llama, integrated through a system called Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG. That means it doesn't just guess answers, it actively pulls facts from live web sources, summarizes them, and cites them. And it doesn't stop at a single response. Perplexity lets you go deeper, ask follow-ups, and explore new angles, all in the same thread. Every answer evolves, guided by curiosity, not keywords. There are no SEO-optimized headlines, no ads, no affiliate marketing traps, just you and the information, the way search was supposed to be. Even more impressive, the Pro version, launched in early 2024, includes Perplexity Labs, a powerful toolkit that lets users generate charts, code, academic summaries, and even research papers using AI and verified sources. This isn't just search, it's knowledge made usable. Perplexity took the mess of modern internet discovery and cleaned it up. It's not trying to keep you scrolling, it's trying to get you the answer and get out of your way. By mid-2025, Perplexity was no longer a hidden gem. It was a full-blown phenomenon. The platform was clocking over 780 million queries per month, a number once unimaginable for any Google competitor. Its viral growth wasn't fueled by ads. It came from word of mouth, YouTube shoutouts, tech podcasts, and social media buzz. Users didn't just use it, they told everyone about it. Creators called it shockingly useful, better than ChatGPT, and the first AI tool that feels finished. Big names took notice. Jeff Bezos invested. NVIDIA backed it. By June 2025, Perplexity had raised over $100 million plus, with valued at $1 billion plus with interest. From enterprise giants, journalists, and educators alike, in a world where most AI tools struggle to explain themselves, Perplexity won hearts with simplicity. No complicated interfaces, no guesswork, just instant trusted answers. And the media loved it. Time Magazine listed it among 2025's most influential companies. Coindesk said it made AI useful. Even Forbes, despite content disputes, admitted it was the boldest threat Google has faced in years. The shift was undeniable. Search wasn't just evolving, it was being rebuilt. For the first time in over two decades, Google is nervous. And perplexity is the reason why. Why? Because it challenges the very thing that made Google powerful, control over information flow. Google profits from clicks, ads, and SEO games. But perplexity? It cuts through the noise and gives users what they're looking for instantly, without needing to click anything. Perplexity's ad model is a direct challenge, too. Instead of cluttering the screen with display ads or paid search results, it uses sponsored follow-up questions, subtle, AI-generated suggestions that align with your search intent. No banners, no confusion, just clean curiosity. Even scarier for Google? Perplexity doesn't rely on page rank. It pulls fresh live data from across the web, including Reddit threads, research papers, and niche blogs. And it credits them all. That means it works without Google's ecosystem internally. Google is racing to catch up. Its own AI search revamp, known as SGE, too slow, too vague, too cluttered. Meanwhile, perplexity is lean, sharp, and already trusted by early adopters. And here's the kicker. Schools, developers, journalists, and even some Google employees are already using perplexity as their default search tool. The threat is real and growing by the day. Perplexity's rise hasn't come without fire, and some of it is legal. In mid-2024, journalists at Forbes, Wired, and The Atlantic began noticing something strange. Their original articles were showing up almost word for word inside Perplexity's responses, without permission. A Wired investigation revealed that Perplexity's bots had been ignoring robot ZET files. 
the basic internet protocol that tells search crawlers which pages not to index. In short, Perplexity was accessing restricted content and republishing summaries, raising alarms across the journalism world. Forbes called it algorithmic plagiarism. Perplexity called it fair use. And the tension boiled over. Wired published a bombshell report titled, Perplexity is a Bullshit Machine accusing the platform of cutting corners, stealing content, and threatening the open web. The backlash ignited a fierce online debate. Is perplexity revolutionizing search or just repackaging someone else's work? CEO Aravind Srinivas responded quickly. He claimed the issues were bugs, promised improvements to citation, and announced updates that would respect content restrictions going forward. Still, the damage was done. Behind the legal storm is a bigger question. If AI can summarize anything, who gets credit and who gets paid? Critics say perplexity undermines journalism. Supporters say it's the next layer of the internet. And just like Google in its early days, it's disrupting an industry that desperately needs change. One thing is clear, this battle isn't just about scraping, it's about the future of truth, trust, and ownership online. While users were falling in love with Perplexity's clean search experience, the company was preparing for something bigger. The enterprise world in 2024. Perplexity launched Perplexity Pro, a premium tier that opened up advanced tools including data analysis, real-time document summarization, citation-based research, and even coding assistance. It wasn't just a search engine anymore, it was a productivity platform for researchers, analysts, developers, and journalists. Behind the scenes, deals started forming with education platforms, news organizations, and corporate knowledge hubs. Schools integrated perplexity to teach students how to access and trust verifiable information. Startups began using it as their internal knowledge assistant. Meanwhile, global expansion kicked in. Perplexity rolled out multilingual search, localized datasets, and even partnerships in Europe and Asia. With each release, it quietly replaced the role Google once dominated, not through headlines, but through utility. By mid-2025, Perplexity wasn't just a startup, it was a global infrastructure product, sitting at the intersection of AI, search, and truth. At the heart of Perplexity's success is a bold, almost poetic mission. Make the internet useful again. Founder Aravind Srinivas isn't trying to replace Google, he's trying to fix what the internet has become. Cluttered, manipulative, and bloated with distractions, his vision is clear. A transparent, intelligent knowledge assistant that gives you real information from real sources in real time. Perplexity doesn't want you to click more. It wants you to know more, faster, cleaner, and smarter. It's the opposite of big tech's attention economy. No addictive interfaces, no engagement hacks, just answers. For some, it feels nostalgic, like how the web used to be. For others, it's the future, a search engine that serves the user, not the advertisers. As AI reshapes how we interact with knowledge, perplexity stands as a beacon of what's possible when intelligence meets ethics. Not just a Google rival, a blueprint for the next generation of digital discovery. The showdown is no longer subtle. It's perplexity versus Google, and the battle lines are drawn. By mid-2025, Perplexity was rapidly pulling users, talent, and trust away from big tech's aging empire. Google responded by doubling down on its AI-driven search generative experience, SGE, but users weren't impressed. Perplexity remained cleaner, faster, and more accurate, and it didn't hide behind ads or vague summaries. Tensions boiled over when Perplexity's traffic surged during major global news events, outperforming Google in real-time accuracy and source credibility. Tech analysts began calling it the most serious threat Google has ever faced. But this isn't just a corporate rivalry. It's a battle for the soul of the internet, one built on transparency and intelligence versus one still trapped in the past. And as the world watches these two titans clash, one thing becomes clear. Users are no longer loyal to the old system. 
They're loyal to the truth. And whoever delivers it best, Perplexity didn't just build a smarter search engine, it rebuilt trust. In a world overwhelmed with noise, misinformation, and manipulation, Perplexity gave us something radical. Answers we can understand, verify, and believe. It reminded us what the internet was meant to be. A place for knowledge, not distraction. This isn't just a startup story. It's a rebellion. One that started in a tiny office in San Francisco and is now shaking the foundations of one of the world's biggest company. And the most powerful part? It's still just the beginning. The future of the internet will be shaped by tools that value our time, our questions, and our need for clarity. Perplexity is proving that intelligence doesn't have to come with manipulation. It can come with meaning. So, the next time you reach for Google out of habit, pause. There's a new way to search. A smarter way. A better way. If this story opened your eyes, drop a comment, share it with someone who still thinks Google is the only way. And check out Perplexity for yourself. You might never go back. Your search habits shape the web. Choose wisely.